Okay, so today I'm going to talk about uh, one of the pipelines that we've developed using um, iPlan tools such as uh, Atmosphere and high performance uh, computing tools such as Exit. So one of the main research interests uh, in Julian's lab, uh, in Maluf lab, is understanding the genotypic uh, differences that exist between these two uh, varieties of Brassica repa, uh, Alpha 100 and IMB. Uh, Alpha 100 is an oil side cultivar of Brassica repa that has been grown in India uh, for the last 6,000 years. And IMB is a rapid cycling cultivar uh, from Wisconsin. And our goal is to use this recombinant in bed population for uh, mapping of quantitative traits. However, to do this, one of the, uh, s some of the prerequisites are uh, a availability of good reference transcriptome and a good genome annotation. However, the current genome annotation uh, that was published by um, the Nebraska Repa Genome Consortium uh, mainly relied on in silico gene predictions and ESTs for, uh, uh, for, um, for genome annotation of Nebraska Repa. The problems with in silico gene models uh, is uh, they have problems identifying short exons, very long uh, exons, non-translated exons, and so on. And the problems with ESTs are uh, they miss 20 to 40 percent of the novel transcripts because most of the transcripts are transcribed under certain conditions. And when I was talking to one of the person in Braska uh, workshop, they said like the ESTs that they use doesn't belong to Braska repa at all. So it, it makes sense now. So the objectives of our current research are. To, to improve the uh, annotation of Braska repa, first by detecting the uh, novel transcripts that are not present in the existing genome annotation, and secondly, uh, by updating the existing gene models of Braska repa. And for sequencing, uh, we used, uh, we extracted all 128, uh, we sequenced all 128 Onyseq libraries and then run them on 17 lanes of uh, Illumina GA2X uh, using p paired and 100 uh, mode of sequencing. and at the end of the sequencing, we got 3 billion raw, raw paired reads, and we certainly didn't anticipate that at the time, and uh, uh, we were in big, big trouble. But uh, fortunately, iPlan came to the rescue, and, uh, and using the um, uh, Atmosphere, which is the cloud computing resource for iPlan, and iROS, which is a data store for I, uh, at iPlan, we were, able to, uh, and uh, we were able to do all the quality control of this uh, 3 billion reads, and at the end of quality control, we were able to get uh, around 2.5 uh, billion paid end reads. Okay, so uh, the, for the uh, for the de novo based assembly, again, we use two different kinds of uh, uh, algorithms. Uh, the first is the Velvet OSS based algorithm, and the, uh, the second is the Trinity based algorithm. And as most of you are already aware, that both these uh, algorithms are highly memory intensive. So um, again, we were in trouble. Like uh, we cannot use uh, atmosphere at that time. Like I was talking about uh, two and a half years ago, uh, we cannot use uh, atmosphere for running this. So again, uh, I planned helped us this time indirectly uh, by allowing us to use Exit. So Exit is the most powerful integrated advanced uh, digital resource and services in the world, funded by uh, NSF. And scientists and engineers around the world use Exit um, because it consists of supercomputers, high-end uh, visualization, data analysis, and storage. Uh, okay, so we use Lone Star for Velvet and uh, Blacklight for Trinity. So for reference-based assembly, we use this uh, top hair couplings compare compare uh, pipeline. Uh, the reason being, this is this was the most uh, popular pipeline existing at that time. I was talking about again three years ago to detect the novel transcripts. So the output from the uh, top hat cuff, cuff links and cuff compare is um, uh, is a set of transcripts that are classified into different class codes. I'm not going to go into uh, details of each of these class codes, but the type of class codes that we use for our analysis is the class code U, uh, that is the novel transcripts. So we got around 6,000 novel transcripts using um, the deep RNA-seq data. Okay, so for the second component, that is uh, updating the existing genome annotation, here is a pipeline. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details, but uh, the, mo the pipeline that I use is using PASA, which is, a, which is not new, new, new pipeline, but it's mostly used for, uh, using, uh, for updating the existing uh, transcripts using ESTs. Uh, so the, the only difference between this and my data is I use uh, RNA-seq data to um, correct the gene structures. 
And since PASA was not that memory intensive, we were able to run successfully on Atmosphere. So in this way, we were able to uh, update around 28,000 gene models uh, using version 1.2 and as well as 1.5. Uh, the iPlan Collaborative and Exit has the tools, people, support uh, to facilitate this kind of uh, analysis. So feel free to use them.